If you've got a brand new iPhone 6 Plus or iPhone 6, or you've updated to iOS 8, here's how to keep your battery life great. So the first thing to do is to assess if you're really draining a lot of battery or not. You can go to settings, general, usage, turn battery percentage on. Then you'll see how much battery is being used. Take a note of it, 58%, then you're gonna put it down. 20 minutes, 30 minutes later, come back, pick it up again, take a look at the battery percentage. If it's changed radically, that means you have a battery drain problem. iOS 8 has also added a new feature called battery usage. So if you go to general usage, battery usage, it will take a look and list all the apps that are using power. So here I can see a list of the last 24 hours and the last two days. Now it's important to remember that there are different reasons that apps could appear here. For example, TweetBot is high, but I've been using TweetBot all the time. TweetBot is high because the screen has been on, the radios have been firing, and I've been using it. That's totally acceptable. Same thing if you're rearranging folders, browsing bookmarks. If something else is going on, for example, background activity, maybe photos are uploading in the background. Phone might sometimes say low signal connection. That means the radio has to power up a lot just to get a signal out. Sometimes Wi-Fi does that as well. Sometimes you'll have an app saying it's using AirPlay. It'll list everything that's going on here. Most of the time, that isn't a problem. If, however, there's an app you've never used, for example, if I haven't used Facebook at all in the last 24 hours, if I haven't used Google Hangouts and it's near the top, if I haven't used Skype, then there's a problem because my usage is not matching what it's showing me in here. And then I know that there's a problem and I need to do something about it. Some of the things you can do, if you think background refresh is a problem, you can come into settings, you can go into general, you can go into background app refresh, and you can turn off any apps that you think are using too much power for example, I can turn off Facebook. Yes, you'll have to wait a little bit longer when you go to the app, but it won't be draining power in the background. I can also go to location settings. So go to privacy, I can go to location services. If I think anything is using too much GPS or too much location services, I can just turn that off. So for example, if I don't want the weather to always look at me, I can just turn that right off. Another thing I can do is I can kill any apps that I think are just wasting power. So for example, if I think that Facebook is doing far too much stuff, I can just get rid of it. Last resort, I can come here, I can hold down the sleep-wake button and the home button and just keep holding them down until the screen goes black and the Apple logo appears. That's a hard reset and that should flush out everything. As a final resort, if you've upgraded to a new device and you're restored from a backup, especially a backup from a different device like iPad to iPhone or different generations of iPhone, you might want to try doing a new setup instead. It's a huge pain because you have to do every one of your settings again, but it can lead to phenomenal battery life. So that's how to maximize your battery life on iOS 8, iPhone 6 Plus, or iPhone 6. I'm Renee, for more great tips, keep it locked to iMore.com.